In this topic, let's see how to find the cost of the electricity bill generated. That is, to find the cost of the electrical energy consumed. You all have seen that your parents pay the electricity bill. Okay, that electricity bill is generated from the electric meter which is placed in your homes. If you have ever noticed the electricity meter, then it consists of a display. Okay, that display is digital. That shows some digits. On counting the digits, you pay the electricity bill to the electricity department. Now, I am going to first tell you that how to read the reading in the electricity meter. The reading of the electricity meter is read by considering two important points. The first point is that you have to start the reading from left and proceed towards right. The second important point that you need to consider is that ignore the number which is red in color. The number which is red in color is placed at the extreme right hand side. So that number is need to ignore and you have to consider the remaining numbers. Like for example, if we draw a display of the electric meter, somewhat like this. This is the display of the electric meter where you show the readings or the digits. For example, I have taken a number say 05812. There is also a digit suppose say 6. This digit that is 6 is red in color. Now, the first point that I have told you that always start reading the number from left to right. That is start from 0 and proceed towards 2. This is the direction where you have to start the reading. That is your digit is 05812. Don't ever count the number that is 21850. No, that is the wrong serial order. You have to start from left to right. That is 05812. This is the reading. Now, you have to ignore this 6 number. This 6 number is red in color. It generally shows the number after the decimal point. Like if you consider this red number, then this number would become 0.6. Now in your electricity bill, this 0.6 hardly matters. That's why we ignore this decimal number and the final reading is 05812. This is how we read the display of the electric meter. Now I will tell you that how this reading comes. And how we need to calculate the reading of the electric meter. Let's see some of the fundamentals before proceeding towards the calculation of the electricity bill. The first fundamental is that the electricity meter always give the reading in kilowatt hour. That is the reading that you have seen 05812 that is the reading in kilowatt hour. The kilowatt hour represents the electrical energy. Okay, so the energy, what is the unit of electrical energy? It is kilowatt hour and it is the reading which you have seen in the electric meter. The kilowatt hour in the meter represents the unit. That is 1 kilowatt hour is equals to 1 unit, 2 kilowatt hour is equals to 2 unit, 5 kilowatt hour is equals to 5 unit and so on. So, the kilowatt hour represents the unit in the case of electricity meter. Now, see here, unit represents energy because kilowatt hour represents energy. So, energy is represented in the electricity bill as unit. How you define unit? The unit is defined as the electricity consumed by the electric appliance. And what is the time period? The time period is always represented in hours. So, the heavy appliances that we use like AC, fridge, geysers, these use large amount of energy. Thus, the unit is also large. The lighter appliances like bulb, fan, they consume smaller amount of energy. Thus, the unit is also small. Thus, on concluding, we can say that heavy appliances, more unit, lighter appliances, small unit. Okay, this is how the combination of unit and appliances work. Now, in order to find the cost of the electricity bill, you have to find the cost of the unit. That is, every state has different unit cost. 
लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन उत्तर प्रदेश वन यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कॉस्ट बिटवीन रुपीज थ्री टू रुपीज फाइव सो इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर स्टेट लेट से उत्तर प्रदेश द कॉस्ट ऑफ यूनिट इज बिटवीन रुपीज थ्री टू रुपीज फाइव प्रेजेंटली द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन यूनिट इज रुपीज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन दैट इज इफ यू कंज्यूम वन यूनिट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी यू हैव टू पे रुपीज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन और यू कैन से दैट इफ यू कंज्यूम वन किलो वॉट आवर ऑफ एनर्जी यू हैव टू पे रुपीज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन सो दीज आर द फर्स्ट फंडामेंटल दैट यू हैव टू कंसिडर बिफोर कैलकुलेटिंग द कॉस्ट लेट सी द थ्री बेसिक स्टेप्स विच आर यूज टू कैलकुलेट द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट वॉट इन टू किलो वॉट ओके आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट डिफरेंट अप्लायसेज हैव डिफरेंट पावर रेटिंग्स ओके एंड दैट पावर रेटिंग यू कैन इजली रीड आउट फ्रॉम द लेबल अटैच टू द पर्टिकुलर अप्लायंस the for example if we talk of bulb then the bulb has their own specification with different power rating the fridge has the own specification with different power rating and so on so these different power ratings of different appliances are noted and they are converted into kilowatt as a basic step the second step is that you have to convert kilowatt into kilowatt hour how to find the kilowatt hour the kilowatt hour is found when the kilowatt is multiplied by the time which is in hour when the kilowatt is multiplied by the time which is in hour it gives you kilowatt hour so what is kilowatt hour it gives you the electrical energy consumed by the device so this is the second step now the energy that you have calculated here by multiplying it with the time should be the energy used in one month that is you have to find the total energy consumed by the appliance in one month generally we assume month as 30 days so you have to find the electrical energy in kilowatt hour for 30 days now the third point is that if you know the unit rate of your particular state then one unit is between rupees 3 to rupees 5 now if you know the exact rate of one unit then you can easily calculate the rate of the total unit in the second step here you have found the total unit of one month okay now this total unit when multiplied by this particular cost then it gives what the total cost of the appliance which is used in one month so these are the three basic steps by which you can calculate the cost of the electricity bill used by a particular appliances now let's see the numerical which clears you to find the cost of the electricity bill The numerical here shows you that the label of the fridge is 350 watt dash 220 volt. What it signifies? It signifies that the power rating of the fridge is 350 watt and the voltage supplied is 220 volts. Now the question is that if the fridge operates for 10 hours per day, then you have to find the cost of the appliance in use. when one unit cost is rupees 3.4 so now let's first write down that what are the instructions given to you according to the numerical the power is 350 watt the time duration up to which the fridge remains open is 10 hours per day next is One unit cost is rupees three point four. So these are the specifications given in numerical. Now let's start with the solution. The first step is that you have to convert watt into kilowatt. This is three fifty watt converted into kilowatt. How by dividing by thousand. On dividing by thousand, you will get point three five kilowatt. 
So this is the first step. What is the second step then? In the second step, you have to convert kilowatt into kilowatt hour. How you will do it? By multiplying kilowatt with hour. Okay. So this is kilowatt. Kilowatt is 0.35 and what is hour? Hour is 10 hours per day. So multiply it by 10 hours. Okay. What you will get? 3.5 kilowatt hour per day. This is the total energy consumption in one day. That is in one day the fridge consume 3.5 kilowatt hour of energy. You have to find the total consumption of energy by the fridge in one month. So we have assumed that in one month there are 30 days. Okay. So in one day the total energy is 3.5 kilowatt hour. So, in 30 days, the total energy would become 3.5 multiplied by 30. That is 105 kilowatt hour. 105 kilowatt hour is the total energy consumed by the fridge in one month. That is in 30 days. Now, it is given in the numerical that one unit is equals to rupees 3.4. One unit means one kilowatt hour. So, 1 kilowatt hour is equals to rupees 3.4. So, 105 kilowatt hour is equals to how many rupees? You have to multiply. That is 105 into 3.4. You will get rupees 357. So, rupees 357 is the cost of the fridge when it is used 10 hours per day. And this cost you have to pay for a month. That is in one month or in 30 days you have to pay 357 for the fridge. Now for your homework I am telling you that go to your home and look at all the appliances. At every appliance there are proper label connected. In the label the specifications are clearly mentioned indicating the power consumption. Okay, so if you use the bulb, so the power of 100 watt, 200 watt is mentioned. Like I have told you 100 watt, that's 220 volt. So 100 watt is the power. For every appliance, there are different power ratings. So calculate, so write down the power, note down the power from there. Find out the unit cost of your state. Find out that what is the duration when the appliance is in use. That is, you have to find the time duration of the appliance in use in hour. If you can manage to collect these three data, then you can easily deduce the cost of the electricity bill used by the particular appliance.